Item number SCP-1702 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-1702 is contained in the sealed repurposed hangar at Humanoid Containment Site 63, which has been fitted with reinforced concrete honeycomb structures. SCP-1702 is to be provided 500 kilograms of food and minimal supplement daily via automated delivery systems consisting of materials as outlined in document 17026. Experimentation with SCP-1702 requires prior permission from at least two level three senior researchers and direct contact with SCP-1702-1 may be performed with direct oversight from site command. Personnel entering SCP-1702's containment area must wear lightly colored reinforced biohazard suits with full rebreathing re equipment and must be quarantined for a minimum of six hours after exiting the area. In case of aggression from SCP-1702 or at the discretion of operational oversight, SCP-1702's containment area is to be flooded with smoke and all personnel must proceed directly to the nearest exit. The personnel that fail to report to an exit are effectively unrecoverable and will be declared KIA. Description SCP-1702 is a species of apian humanoid consisting of a hive with a single fertile queen and several hundred sterile workers. SCP-1702 specimens have an appearance analogous to normal humans, with the notable exception of several prominent apian structures, including antennae extending from their heads and cutting the skin along their backs and limbs. SCP-1702 also have similar internal physiology with a notable addition of a compound stomach with a chamber capable of processing organic material and raw minerals into a substance resembling human bone that can then be regurgitated and used in hive construction and repairs. SCP-1702-1 is the queen, a large fertile female approximately 2.1 meters in length and the only member of SCP-1702 capable of reproduction typically laying up to 30 eggs per day. Highly intelligent, SCP-1702-1 is capable of communicating with personnel in a previously unknown dialect of French and has proven highly cooperative as well as being the source of most of our knowledge regarding SCP-1702's behavior and hive mechanics. SCP-1702-2 are male specimens which are only present during the beginning of a mating cycle and have only been encountered once while in Foundation containment. See Incident 1702-5. SCP-1702-2 appear to be only minimally intelligent and did not respond to attempts to communicate by Foundation personnel. At the end of the mating cycle, all SCP-1702-2 specimens were systematically driven away from the hive or killed. SCP-1702-3 are still our female workers, currently approximately 340 in number, responsible for construction and cleaning of the hive's physical structure and nurturing young. SCP-1702-3 also tend to SCP-1702-1 and are responsible for feeding, cleaning, grooming, and inducing egg-laying in the queen. SCP-1702-3 appear to be highly intelligent and capable of complex problem-solving and logistics, but appear to have vestigial focal cords and have not responded to attempts to communicate. SCP-1702-3 only have a lifespan of approximately five years. SCP-1702 was first discovered in the Paris Catacombs circa 1944 by members of the French Resistance during World War II who were able to broker safe passage through SCP-1702's hive in return for living German prisoners of war. SCP-1702 was rediscovered in 19 Beep 
after which a Foundation containment team was able to convince SCP-17021 to be located to Biocontainment Site-63, citing the effect of urban expansion on its environment and the possibility of being discovered. It is not known at this time whether French government officials were aware of SCP-1702's existence in the intervening time period. Addendum 17021 Researcher Note Translated from French SCP-17021 has proven a challenge to communicate with. Aside from its unusual dialect, it is also in a constant state of incoherence and delirium consistent with intoxication, which I suspect to be a side effect of the pheromones which it is constantly exposed to. On its own, SCP-17021 does nothing but wander the hive and must be guided by its workers whenever its eggs are needed. Despite these issues, SCP-17021 has nonetheless been a valuable resource and provided important insight into itself and its hive. I also believe that it may consider me to be a friend at this stage, and I may be able to leverage that trust. Dr. M. Correct, Senior Researcher Addendum 17022, Researcher Note, translated from French Despite extensive experimentation, it appears that SCP-1702 requires a minimum of human biological material to reproduce properly. Attempts at limiting SCP-1702 to strictly non-human material resulted in the birth of unhealthy workers and caused considerable distress to the hive as a whole. At the insistence of SCP-17021 and with oversight approval, SCP-1702 is to be provided a new diet as outlined in document 17026, which is to consist of no less than 5% human biological material processed from redacted, and only, if absolutely necessary, terminated Class D personnel. Dr. M. Corlett, Senior Researcher Addendum 17023 Instant Report 17025 On beep, during contact conducted by Four personnel, including Dr. Colette and Dr. Beep, SCP-17021 reportedly entered a state of lucidity, during which it suddenly pleaded with the personnel to be rescued from a tithe. SCP-17023 specimens, tending to SCP-17021, then began to enter an aggressive state, which prompted oversight to terminate proceedings. Dr. Beep and Agent Beep were able to escape containment unharmed, but Dr. Correct and Agent Beep were unable to escape their containment area and were subsequently declared KIA. A camera carried by Agent Beep continued to transmit audiovisual data for approximately 2 minutes and 17 seconds before being cut off. Footage recorded showed SCP-17021 apparently being attacked and torn apart by SCP-17023 specimens of screaming and pain. Addendum 17024, Incident Report 17026 For a period of approximately 35 days following Incident 17025, SCP-1702 remained highly aggressive and resisted all attempts by personnel to enter its hive. After SCP-1702 calmed down significantly for safe passage, two armed and armored personnel were dispatched into SCP-1702's containment area to investigate. Personnel reported that not only did they locate SCP-1702-1, but the queen appeared to be unharmed. Recorded footage indicates that while the queen has the exact same appearance, behavior, and personality, SCP-1702-1 no longer has any memory or recollection of events prior to Incident 17025. Addendum 17025 Researcher Note Just as in nature, SCP-1702's queen appears to be a prisoner of the hive. As long as she is perfect and productive, 
The workers will pamper and protect her, but the moment she comes damaged, they will turn and replace her. To the best of our knowledge, it is not the same queen anymore. Just a replacement crafted to be the same perfect ideal that the hive expects and requires. That the tissue sample the containment team managed to procure shows a DNA match for Dr. Colette only reinforces this theory. Dr. Beep, Senior Researcher.